death of the missing ECSU student Alicia Wiley. Good evening, everyone. I'm Erin Logan. Tonight, police say Jermaine Richards of Bridgeport has surrendered to police. News 8's Jackie Slater has been following all of the latest developments. She joins us live in Bridgeport, where a vigil was originally set to get underway for Wiley. Jackie? Aaron, friends and family had gathered here at Beardsley Park to honor Alicia Wiley's memory. Wiley's remains were found yesterday in a wooded area in Trumbull. But once family got word that an arrest had been made, they decided to cut this vigil short. Now, today's arrest comes at after almost a month of waiting for answers. Alicia was last seen on the campus of ECSU back on April 20th. Family and friends have been searching for her since then. Earlier at Jermaine Richards' home in Bridgeport, police could be seen continuing their investigation into what they're now calling a homicide. According to the Connecticut Post, Richards was accompanied by his lawyer and turned himself into police at Troop G. That's the Connecticut State Police. He's currently being held without bond until he is arraigned in court and we just heard from state police they say that Richards is charged with murder as well as kidnapping in the first degree again this is a developing situation we're going to continue to follow this and have more information for you this evening coming up on news 8 at 11 for now in Bridgeport Jackie Slater news